Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Deck Prepper. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I decided to do a little project for myself where I wanted to install some backup 12 volt uh, LED lights in the ham shack, in my office, and one as a portable unit. And I thought it might help out the preppers and then uh, for the advanced users out there, like the ham radio operators, I think it could give them some ideas. So what were my goals? So one, I wanted to be able to run a very efficient lighting in my shack in the case of a power outage for at least six hours. Two, I wanted to reuse the equipment I had on hand and primarily that is my set of 12 volt batteries that we use in the amateur radio world to power our equipment in the field. Number three, I wanted to standardize on what we use in amateur radio for uh, connecting our devices and that's Anderson power poles. And I wanted to be able to open this up to allow anybody to do this first build for about a hundred bucks. Um, so that'll include the battery, the necessary cable so you don't have to build your own, and then a, a set or a kit for the LED light. And I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, I'm also starting a, um, a blog that will also be a companion for all the videos. So there'll be more information there. So check that out if you guys are interested. Um, I'm really curious to see how that works. Um, so the big question is how long will this actually run? Um, in my testing, I got 6.5 to about 6.6 .6 hours off of a 4.5 hour BioWino battery. And what I like about this kit from Govi is that uh, they give you a 16 foot reel and you're able to cut it into segments. I've already cut mine off and I cut off uh, after I put together a four foot segment. And they have these um, uh, connection lines that you basically cut, cut and you can put on whatever connectors. In my case, this strip is just gonna go along the wall and I just need the power on this end. But I am reusing this additional strip for things like the shack and I'll get into that advanced portion of the install later. But for the non-hams out there, you basically have this kit all you need to do is measure the length of where you want to install this and um, uh, remove the adhesive uh, strip, uh, clean the area with the supplied alcohol pad, and mount it. And then they provide some mounting clips to secure it. Um, I would put uh, one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end depending on how long you run it. And that's really it. And uh, in terms of connecting this to a battery system, what you'll need to purchase is a 2.5 by 5.5, sorry, yeah, 2.5 by 5.5 millimeter uh, cable that terminates at an Anderson power pole. So it connects just like this. And the BioWino batteries, this is the 4.5 amp hour battery, has already this connector. So when the power goes out, all you need to do is connect your battery source. And in this case, there actually is a switch, which is kind of nice, that also has an adhesive mount, so you can mount this. And we can turn on our light. And you can actually see how bright that is. And there's a number of different settings you can cycle through. This is on the highest setting right now. And I'll show you what it looks like in the shack with just this power, but it's pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, disconnect our power. We can turn it off and disconnect it from here. Now, the one thing I like about this setup is that when uh, you do have power, the Gobi kit actually has a uh, AC to DC wall outlet and you just plug it directly in here and it works the same way. So in an emergency, all you really have to do when the power goes out is grab this and plug it in and you're good to go for at least six hours. For the, um, oh, and before I forget, if you purchase the BioWino battery, uh, they also sell a charging cable and I recommend you get this. Um, they are, uh, I think about 30 bucks or in that range roughly, uh, but it'll allow you to keep these batteries charged up. Uh, the connectors on all the, uh, or this style of BioWino battery has this connector so that it's very easy to plug in the charger. 
Um, if you do want to put in the additional expense, they do have uh, kits with folding panels and small solar charge controllers that can be used to charge this. Uh, it's a big investment. Um, I already have the equipment, so for me, really, my only out-of-pocket expense with this build was this kit, which ran me less than $30. All right, guys, so let's move on to the more um, advanced installation. So what I just showed you works fine for one station, but you're still left with about uh, maybe 12 feet of additional LED lights. And what I did with this is, since I'm able to cut them along these copper lines here, um, I'm going to be able to install this in about three other locations. So what I purchased were a set of these uh, connectors that are solderless connectors. And all you do is clip one end onto these two leads. And then you can take some standard 18 gauge wire, strip the ends, and actually connect them onto the other side. And then really quite simple, uh, on the other end of the 18 gauge cable, all you need to do is connect your Anderson power poles and you have power. So this is the precise setup I used for my second station, which is in the ham shack. Uh, the only change I think I'm going to make is install a small switch so I can turn on and off uh, these lights. And then the last thing I'm going to do with my last segment is I'm going to mount it on a piece of uh, just wood. I, I'm cannibalizing an old pallet. And what's nice about that is I can move that from place to place and just tote along one of my batteries. Um, so that's really it, guys. A really simple project. Again, it could be kind of expensive if you try to go with the solar panels, uh, the charger, all that mess. But if you're a ham radio operator and already have a bucket of 12 volt batteries, you have Anderson power poles, you have 18 gauge wire um, or whatever gauge wire um, you have on hand that's appropriate, it's a pretty easy way to slowly over time add emergency backup lighting. All right, guys, I'm the tech prepper. Be strong. Be safe and be prepared.